Hey everyone, so here's a quick video on migrating from Azure API Management over to the AnyPoint API Manager. So the idea here is that you have existing APIs that you've created in a different platform. Um, you're currently proxying those and managing those from Azure API, uh, but you wanna go ahead and move those over to the AnyPoint API Manager. So uh, in this video, I'll walk through that process. Um, some quick product terms and kind of how they align between the two different platforms. From Microsoft Azure API Management Services, that essentially corresponds to API Manager within the endpoint platform. Uh, Azure has a developer portal as well as a pub publisher portal. In the endpoint platform, we have the concept of the exchange, which allows you to create a library of different APIs, and then also the community manager that allows you to share that API out with your developers and your customers. Uh, and then the last piece is Application Insights. Uh, on Azure in the MuleSoft world, that is called AnyPoint Monitoring, and that gives you visibility into the Mule runtime as well as the APIs that are exposed from uh, the platform, okay? Okay, so for the video, um, I'm gonna kind of walk through a scenario here. We have an existing API that is currently exposing data from an SAP instance around customer data. And this is currently also set up within Azure's API Management Services. If we drill into APIs here, and look at all the different APIs. This API is essentially being proxied through the API Management Services of Azure. So the idea is taking this existing API and moving this over to the AnyPoint platform. And uh, you can see you know, through this video, it's actually a pretty seamless and easy process. So um, really quick, let's go ahead and just kind of show that this is up and running and, and we can go ahead and test this, right? So we can go ahead and click on send to this endpoint on the Azure side and expose that data here from that endpoint. Okay, so um, from the MuleSoft standpoint, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we can go ahead and take this endpoint and over in the AnyPoint platform side, we've logged into the API manager. So from the API management standpoint, there's no need to you know, build a new API within Studio, deploy it, and then set it up here. What we can go ahead and do is click on manage APIs, create a new API, and let's go ahead and call this um, test customer API. Under the asset types, you can choose a, um, a RAML specification, an open API, Swagger specification, a SOAP endpoint. But in this case, we have an existing API that's currently running. We're gonna select HTTP API, and we're gonna, cl uh, gonna click on continue. And that's gonna go ahead and enter that specific entry into the exchange, which come back, we'll come back to later on. Next, we wanna go ahead and deploy this, um, this proxy uh, either to an on-premise runtime or to Cloud Hub. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and deploy this to an on-premise runtime. So um, managing type, we're gonna go ahead and deploy this to an endpoint with a proxy. The proxy deployment targets. So if you deploy it to Cloud Hub, that leverages our uh, iPaaS infrastructure and deploys this proxy into a Mule runtime in the cloud. Uh, it takes away the need for you to have to manage any hardware or software, right? But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select hybrid. And when I select hybrid, this assumes that I already have a Mule runtime running somewhere that I wanna go ahead and deploy this proxy to, right? So we can go ahead and see that uh, in the background here, I have a Mule runtime that's currently deployed, uh, running and, and registered with the runtime manager. Uh, and this sets us apart from Azure in the sense that you can deploy this proxy either in the cloud and you know have to take you know take away the need to manage any hardware or software, or you can also deploy this to an on-premise runtime that you have running within your data center, um, and, and allow it to be running closer to your your specific endpoint. Okay. Next, we're going to choose uh, check this checkbox for you know uh, running this on a on Mule for a runtime. And then for the implementation URI, let's go ahead and paste in that specific endpoint that we already have up and running. And we'll click on save. And once we click on save, it's gonna bring up this new page here. This is the, um, the, the dashboard for this new test customer API. And there's one last step we need to do. Uh, we wanna go ahead and deploy this to that meal runtime. So we'll click on select target. And you can see that here that it shows you all your available meal runtimes that you have registered with the runtime manager. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select the on-premise runtime and select target, and then click on deploy. So in the background here, what's happening is that it's taking that proxy application, it's deploying it to that meal runtime that's running on-premise, uh, and then it's spinning that application up. So similar to Microsoft Azure, when you go ahead and register a new API, in the background from the Azure standpoint, it spins up an instance and deploys that proxy 
um, to allow you know management of that traffic. But from the MuleSoft standpoint, you have the option of deploying either to our cloud of infrastructure, which um, is similar to Azure, or you can also deploy it to an on-premise runtime if that is how you um, have your environment set up. Okay, okay. So now that's set up and deployed, uh, it's successfully up and running in the background. If we open up a new tab here and go to that endpoint, we can go ahead and pass in customer in the URI parameter, and you can see that it returns the exact same data as we have from the existing API that's already running. So from here now, if we go ahead and make a couple of requests here, you can see that it also applies um, similar policies um, you know, that have been applied to this API. We can come into this API and apply additional policies. So we can apply a rate limiting policy or throttling policy, but all of this is enabled now through the API manager within the platform, okay? Um, and the last thing to kind of talk about is that you have the ability to have a single place to kind of manage and track all your APIs. So coming over to the exchange now, if we refresh the screen here, you can see that that new customer or test customer API shows up in here. This is where you can add additional information around the specific API. And this is again, very similar to the developer portal over here on the, um, the Azure side, right? Where you can expose this API and have users read up on, on how to use the API. But from the MuleSoft standpoint, this exchange allows you to go ahead and edit this page now and add additional information around how to leverage this API and, and how to test against it, okay? Okay, so uh, hopefully that answers any questions you have around migrating from Azure API Management over to the AnyPoint API Manager. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave any uh, your questions in the comments section, and I'll be happy to answer those when, when I get a chance. Thanks.